Hey everybody and welcome to Rising Nomad and today we have Georgina here <coughs> on the island of Copangan in Asia mm -hmm. and um, this is your first major sort of like Asia trip isn't it? Uh, yeah. You were here once before but yeah. but now like you've been to two different countries Vietnam and Thailand mm -hmm. some different cities and different places how does it feel? It feels really good actually it feels really good to be here in the island right now because like it's like the perfect ending for my trip. I just, you know, relaxed and I'm super calm. Now I'm getting ready to go back to the city again, Bangkok, and slowly, I don't know, find myself back to the city. Yeah, so, so yeah, this time, yeah. This time you saw a lot more than last time when mm -hmm. you were just here. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is a relaxing place and I think you can see why I've decided to live here. For sure, for sure. Because it's just so easy, convenient, peaceful and all that sort of mm -hmm. stuff. Um, even though my life can still sometimes be stressful here. At least the surroundings always it remind it feel of how beautiful easier. life is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it makes it easier true. when you know that, well, if the world ends tomorrow, at least you've still got coconuts. <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, did you, this is one of the first trips that you've taken, like, this far away from home. How does it feel to be um, this separated from Europe, your culture, and all that sort of stuff? Uh, actually, at first, I was feeling a bit frustrated, to be honest. I was scared. I wasn't sure what I'm going to, you know, find out, how safe I will be. Like everything, especially when I had to travel alone, you know, all by myself. So uh, it was, yeah, pretty frustrating for me. But like the moment I think I took the airplane and I arrived in Bangkok, everything went like really smooth. Uh, it was very easy to navigate into the city. I mean, like the most important thing is that I had internet. So I think this is like what makes me feel safe. Yeah, just Having buy internet, that SIM card. Like, you know, yeah, 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 definitely. This is like the, the main thing. Um, so yeah, I mean like from there you can just explore, you know, what is there, you know. Yeah. Like, depends on your mood. And the hardest part is getting to the airport. All, like a lot of the worry that yeah. you have about the whole thing For sure. just like disappears once you are actually waiting for that plane. You, 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 there's like all the worry doesn't matter anymore yeah. because there's nothing you can do except for enjoy the, the ride. The most stressful thing is I think to catch the plane and be on time for your flights. I don't know how many of them do you have to take, but yeah, like the, the most stressful part is like, you know, be on time for my flight, that's it. Or my ferry or my bus or whatever, you know, if this is it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And what do you miss about Europe, having been in Asia for almost a month? Cheese. Cheese? <laughs> what kind um, of cheese? I don't know, any kind of cheese. I don't have any preference right now. I'm eating like, I eat this month only Asian food, so I miss like European food. I mean, I miss pasta, you know, and stuff like that. Yeah, but we've got that stuff here. You could eat it whenever you want. Oh yeah, but I'm so like, I don't know, I cannot, I feel like I'm, I don't know, it's, it's As hard a traveler for me to explain. on a short I trip, want to, no, no, like, no. I understand it. On a traveler cuisine, on a short you know? trip, you want to um, experience yeah. as much culture yeah. Yeah, yeah, as yeah, yeah. possible. Exactly. And um, yeah, basically, like do the local thing as much as mm -hmm. possible. Whereas mm -hmm. me, as a long-term expat living here, I want to achieve a great balance of the stuff that's worked for me yeah. all around the world. Like um, you know, sometimes I want to have Mexican food. Sometimes I want to have. Um, you know, pasta, pizza, all that sort of stuff. But my default is, um, you know, chicken salad um, because that's what I found for me and my body makes me feel the healthiest. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, like, for me, it was like, I, I, don't, I didn't want to waste not even one day to have, like, pizza or... Although I had once, you know, but still, you know, for me, it's like, you know, just follow their culture, follow their cuisine eat as much as you can, I mean, if you travel for a short time period. Uh, so what's the most exotic thing you tried so far? A um, couple of things. Um, I don't know, I've tried like frog and some weird Vietnamese um, dishes, which were there very, very interesting. Okay. Uh, Good interesting? Yeah, all of them. 
surprisingly, all of them. Vietnamese food was amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. But Vietnamese versus Thai food. I'm not sure. I'm mm. not sure. I might go with Vietnamese. Wow, but this is the not first time sure. I've heard it. Yeah. 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 I might. I mean, I don't know. I haven't decided and yet. And how did you find the difference in the people between Vietnam and Thailand? Oh, so many differences. Like, uh, me personally, I like uh, Vietnamese people much more. I find them more real. Yeah. I find them uh, honest and I find them very, very helpful. Like, if they can help in any way, they will do it. Uh, and I haven't felt that with Thai people that much. I mean, they're very, very kind. They're very polite, very smiley. Like, I cannot say a bad thing about Thai people, but there was something different with Vietnamese people. The realness. The realness, yeah. And like, the you honesty, know, they yeah. could like see you on the street and they would just invite me, you know, at their place, you know, yeah, to yeah, celebrate yeah. with them, to chill with them, to eat with them. So this was like, for me, an experience I've never had before. Yeah. Like in people, strange people invite you, you know, at their place, you know, to have meal with them. This yeah. is amazing, right? And you mentioned safety before. Did you feel safe everywhere you've been so far? Oh, yes. Really? 100%, yeah. So that wasn't a problem. That was just something in your mind that you were sort of like... Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I had to do my research first. So I wanted to go to a place that I would feel safe. I wouldn't go, I don't know, like India, for example, like as a first trip by myself. Yeah. It's not the same there. But yeah, I mean, like Vietnam and Thailand it are places that everyone feels safe i think i felt even safer than home really yeah oh so that's amazing yeah yeah and um if you were to plan your trip again what would you change as like a you know solo traveler going would, to these countries yeah so i would stay longer to everywhere actually no i would stay longer to one place which place hmm Da Nang, for sure, yeah. Vietnam, and yeah, maybe Hoi An or uh, even Ho Chi Minh, I would try to stay longer to feel the vibe, although... Try you know, to stay like, longer. It was very, very intense, but... Um, it's just I the noise of those motorbikes, intense though. It was, it was so different. So I wanted to experience maybe a bit longer that. Yeah. You know, I mean, not that long, but, you know, for 10 maybe days. 10 days. Would be, yeah. So to just like check it out. Yeah. And How see. it feels, you know? I mean, because for like, sure for it's those not one who of don't these know, places. Yeah, it's the loudest place. On earth. <laughs> could be the loudest place on earth, but it's pretty ridiculously yeah. like just uh, motorbikes are the big loud, but they honk at each other all the time. And they um, just make lots of noise everywhere as well, because it seems like yeah. they just have like a noisy culture. Whereas in Thailand, I don't really feel it's that no, way at exactly. all. exactly. Although it was like pretty similar, the the whole thing, the main idea with uh, Greece actually, it reminds me like we also have the same energy with honking and I mean there are not so many people, not so many bikes, not so many cars, but still you know you have like the same vibe, you know, like you just go with the flow, you just go with the traffic, you follow the traffic and then finally you are like where you want to be. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> And if there was like um, some young woman out there watching this video or something like this and was kind of like wanting to do what you're doing but not sure if they can do it alone, what would you tell them about uh, being a solo traveler? Like it's, it's just here, I think, being a female solo traveler, it's just here. I mean, there are some times that you have to think mm, maybe a bit more, you know, like should I go out? at I don't know like 12 a.m. you know no maybe no I wouldn't do it but still you know even in some places I felt pretty safe uh, but yeah I mean like I I totally recommend I it. think this is probably the safest region to travel yeah, in yeah for, for, sure. for anybody basically for anybody yeah that's um, true. as long as you're respectful of local culture and don't go look for trouble trouble doesn't usually find you and you know you're wary of whatever scams or whatever yeah yeah, and it's just like, uh, more and more people should do this, folks. Like, more and more people should just get out there and travel and broaden their horizons. And yeah, 
just find what that can do for you. Do, do you wish that you started this earlier in your life? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Like the fear holding me back, I, yeah, I regret that. But okay, still, you know, I still have time to do it. And I haven't regret that I tried it and it was amazing experience. I felt stronger somehow. Mm -hmm. I felt that I can, you know, do it by myself, you know, and I don't need anyone else, you know, to travel with yeah. because I can do it by myself. And, you know, if you're this kind of people that you like traveling with other people, it's great, it's amazing. I love that as well, traveling with friends. But if you cannot find someone else that can follow, I mean, yeah, go ahead and just do it by yourself. It, yeah, there's always people in hostels, yeah. on couch surfing, so many people. on the plane, on the so bus. So many people, yeah. yeah. Like, I've never met so many people in my life uh, as now that I was traveling by myself. Amazing. So, yeah, it's way more inviting, I think, uh, when you're by yourself to hang with people, with strangers. And what are you not looking forward to going back to Greece? Oh, it's February. It's cold. Yeah, I think the weather is like a... And what are you most looking forward to? Mm, what I'm looking forward to? Yeah, going mm, back. My next trip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where's your next trip? Uh, it's in two months. Yeah? Yeah, from now. Where so are you going? I'm going to Italy. Nice! Yep. Nice! It will be fun. Yeah, and that's, that's going to be springtime, like April? Yep, yep. But like not like the big tourist season, but like, yeah. Exactly. So yeah, I cannot wait for that trip as well. Are you happy that you came here during the tourist season though? Yes. To see what it's like? It's yes. not too crazy. Yes. Uh, well, like, especially this place changed a lot, I feel. Kofingan. Yeah. The island Kofingan. here, yeah. The island here changed, uh, comparing with three years ago. Um, yeah, much more, like, there are like many, many people tourists, expats, foreigners, the, the, the island is packed with foreigners, yeah. which is nice, but I think yeah, it's great. Yeah, I would like to explore something, old. like next time I think I would like to explore something more local. Local? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Like some random Thai town that's yeah. like special yeah, yeah, to the yeah, Thai yeah, people, yeah, yeah. but yeah. off the tourists sort mm -hmm, of. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to see like how the prices would change. Yeah. Because here like there are Expats, they're foreigners, so we're having a, we have I think different budget, right? Yeah. Comparing with other cities, so yeah, I would like to explore that, and maybe a bit more the real Thai culture. Yeah. So we'll see, like till next year. Okay, great. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed your trip. I'm really and happy about this trip. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll it's see you like back around uh, here soon. Yeah, bucket list check. You know. All right, great. <laughs> Well, thanks a lot. Um, if you like content like this, uh, you can subscribe to our channel, Rising Nomad. And we'll catch you later.